Hello guys, finally welcome to our fourth week that is our last week of learning advanced technique of you know photoshop and in this lesson number 22 we are going to learn a very professional dodging and burning just like you know most of the photographers are using in their photos so with the help of this technique which I am personally using or I am going to show you in this tutorial for your kind of information that Tony Mayfield also uses this kind of technique of dodging and burning in his photos on Instagram. If you don't know then just search on Instagram. He is really an amazing you know, creative photograph artist and uh, photographs are very amazing. So I'll just show you how you can also use this kind of you know three different types of you know dodging and burning to your face and just turn your photo very similar to that of creative photographers and the Instagram influencers do use this kind of technique so you can also and just turn your instagram game to a next level so just guys learn this technique very perfectly and very keenly so that you may be able to do that in your photos and stand out from the rest so before any further ado let's get straight into the video guys Hello beautiful people out there and guys here is our fourth week in this the you know advanced this is us advanced week in which we are going to learn a very very precious and very advanced technique you to you know use your edit your photos and create an amazing photo manipulations and all so this in this chapter we will learn how to create a dodging and burning or retouching your face so dodging and burning just like Tony Mafu or many of the different photographers do uses this kind of you know professional technique but I will share you my top three secret techniques which you know I personally use and the famous photographers do use in their portrait retouching and dodging and burning. So let's get straight into the you know first technique that is of simple dodge and burn with the help of course right. <clears throat> so in this video or uh, in this technique what you need to do is first of all just go to the levels right so here here is the you know sorry the layers file and here just go to the channels if this channel is not shown in your photoshop and all you need to do is just go to window select the channel so it will show up the channels when you go to the channels you will find over here a selection tool load selection channel load selection as a channel right so this is the tool all you need to do is just click on this when you will click you can see your automatically you will get a selection of the area where it is more brighter area right from the image you will get automatically selection of the brighter area now just again go to the levels sorry layers <coughs> now here go to the adjustment layer and select the curves right this you need to choose that is a curve guys and just keep it as a don't do any kind of you know technique or any kind of thing you know don't have to do just keep it as it is now change the blending mode to screen right this is the most important thing which you need to understand that is just change the blending mode to screen now again <clears throat> now let's just name it as a dodge and now we're gonna just duplicate this uh, curve so what you're gonna do is just right click on it and select duplicate layer or you can directly press ctrl j from the keyboard to make a duplication of this particular layer or the adjustment layer now here just click on the duplicate layer and here we will name it as a burn and just hit ok right now here guys you need to understand that is change the blending mode to multiply this you need to understand and here when you click over here just press ctrl or command plus i if you are using mac then you can use the command plus i but here i am using the you know windows keyboard so i am using ctrl plus i that is inverse so we are inversing the selection which we have made right so as you can see when i have inversed this thing that is burn and here you need to understand or you know remember to multiply the blending mode 
now we're gonna just make both as a group so just to shift by pressing the shift and just you know, select both and press ctrl plus g to make a group so as you can see guys here was the before without the burn dots and burn technique and here's the after a huge difference can be spotted on the photo this is a very quick and easy technique you, you can use to you know dodge and burn so guys this is my personal secret technique which i do use and guys you can still more do more if you want to go more advanced then what you need to do is just go to the image select the <coughs> First of all, we'll add a layer mask on this group. Go to the image and select the apply image. And here, from here, the layer you need to select the background that is our background layer and just hit OK. So this will just pump up more the dodge and burn to a very professional and creative way, right? So this is an extraordinary step which you really have to understand and remember. So as you can see, here was the before and here is the after. We didn't have done too much of you know dodging and burning, but a minor kind of you know dodging and burning we have created in this particular one step process, right? But if you want to add some more process or some more thing on the photo or some more dodge and burn, what you're gonna do is just press Ctrl J or duplicate this whole group, right? Just right click on it and select the copy and just make one more copy of that so as you can see i have made a copy and it is really making more photo the more enhanced and kind of giving you an amazing dodge and burn effects so let's just make one more merge by pressing the and making one more group so as you can see here here was the before and here's the after a huge difference can be seen in the photo guys and here also the apply the same effect if you want to delete something from the rest of the image you can totally do by adding a layer mask and selecting the brush tool and just make sure you selected the black color on the foreground and just delete it on the area where you don't want this effect you in the rest of the things you can just delete it right so this effect won't affect that area so as you can see here is the before and here is the after this is the professional way to you know the first trick to you know do a dodging and burning with the curve right so we'll move to the next technique that is you know advanced dodge and burn with the help of blending options right so what does this blending options do is let's try it on this photo right so first of all the blending options what we're gonna do is just duplicate the layer just right click on it and select a duplicate layer and just hit ok right now here we're gonna just name it as a dodge and here just change the blending mode to screen now guys the right click on it and select the blending options <coughs> now here guys you need to very very be careful and understand very well in the dodging process right you have to move the slider from left to right so just press the alt key from the keyboard so it will just open up one more slider from the photo and you as you can see you have made a slider and it is totally moving from left to right and it is really making a huge impact to the photo and it is giving you an amazing dodging gradiented look to your skin as you can see here guys right it is really making a difference so now just hit ok now again just duplicate the layer from the original layer just by pressing ctrl j and now here we are going to name it as a burn right and just make sure to make this layer on top of all the layers right now change the blending mode to multiply now just right click on it and select the blending options now guys here you need to understand is here in this slider or multiply mode or uh, burning process you have to you know move the slider from right to left this you need to understand and you have to remember guys so just press alt key from the keyboard and it just move a slider it will just pump up one more slider from that area and it will just create a one more dodging or gradiented look on the skin as you can see i'm moving the slider it is affecting on the skin which is really making an impact to the photo now just hit ok all right now i'm gonna just merge or make a group of both this dodge and burn by pressing ctrl g to make a group right 
now guys now add a layer mask on this group particular now go to the image select the apply image now just go to the channel layers and here you need to select the background layer that is our original layer right so as you can see here was the before and here was the after here is the after you can guys still more make an adjustment manually by double click on it and you can totally play with the slider and just move it from you know left to right and this is according to your photo and convenience you can just do this technique as you can see this really making an impact to the photo and let's just select on the dodge tool and just move the slider and really it will just bring back the details of this white tone and as you can see this is you can this is the thing which you can you know do totally as per your you know convenience and whatever you want you can just totally do it guys so this is how this actually works now if you want more effect on the face so what you can do is again press ctrl j so it will make one more layer of that and here let's just merge both the layers by pressing the you know control group so here is the before and here is the after a huge difference can be seen in the photo right now if you want to smoothen the skin what we have learned in our previous video is that select the mixture brush and make sure everything is under 30 percent right and select on this tool and just make a smooth texture on the skin so just a bit of you know smoothness so that you know it may look kind of more clean and kind of more realistic just like this way so you will be able to you know do the process and make it look kind of cool just like this way all right so this is the technique which i am personally using to retouch my portraits and make it look more creative right so this is the one thing guys which we have learned that is a second technique with the help of you know blending options right so you need to understand and you need to you know do or remember this technique right so as you can see we have totally you know changed the thing let's see the before and after of the photograph let's first of all duplicate the image and here we'll go to the history and just select open and here is our original layer and let's just place original layer over here so this is let's name it as the original and this was the smooth on skin right so guys here the one thing process we have completed or the sorry the second process or the second type of you know add, add dodging and burning with the help of blending options we have completed now the third thing or the third process which i personally use to make my skin or make my dodging and burning effect to a next level just like tony mafu then most of the famous you know fashion bloggers and instagram influencers are do using this technique so we will cover up that in this video right so just create a new layer create a square marquee tool right now just right click on it and select fill select the fill to 50 percent gray change the blending mode to overlay right now just press ctrl d to deselect that thing so this is our thing right so we have just covered all the face or covered up this gray on whole image of the face right so here guys you need to select the burn tool right so let's select the burn tool from here and make sure your exposure is around 15 to 20 percent this you need to understand and very very keenly you have to play with this exposure don't get overexposed and over you know burn and dodge otherwise it will look totally dramatic and unrealistic which we actually don't want right now guys you have to you know <coughs> paint that dodge sorry burn in the direction where you want to create a perfect jaw lines right so this is very important that guys which you really need to understand suppose i want to create a jaw lines in this position or this area i'll just paint it over here and also on the nose region also on this area so as you can see this one is literally looking so cool now i'll select the dodge tool and make the exposure to around 30 or 25 would be pretty perfect 
now just paint it with the dodge effect where you want to create that dodge let's say i want to create over here so i'll just create a dodge effect on the area where i want this effect so as you can see this is literally making a huge impact to the photograph with the help of this dodge the technique so as you can see over here we will just decrease the exposure and just make a light gradiented look so finally as you can see we have created a perfect kind of you know dodging effect on the face and here is the burning effect so you can see the difference here is the before and here is the after a huge difference can be seen right now you can just add a color grading process to the photo so what you can do is just select the color lookup or any of the preset you can just add it to your photo let's select this photo or the preset which i want to get added to my photograph or you can just download the whole preset i'll just put the link in the description or else i will just give you the top you know premium collection of preset bundle just for free so this is the preset file right i have added to my photo now what i will do is just merge both the layers or sorry merge all the layers and let's see the difference the original and our the edited or the you know dodge and burn technique which we have done that is second and third process so here is the before and here is the after so you can see the difference guys a huge difference can be seen in the photo here is the before and here is the after literally guys this one is totally looking very very amazing so i do suggest if you want to create an amazing textures or amazing kind of you know dodge and burn then you can use this my technique that is a very professional and do amazing secret technique which you can use in your photo and just turn it into a kind of very creative you know portrait editing with the help of dodging and burning in photoshop so i hope you have learned this process of dodging and burning a very professional way to you know retouch your portraits so guys see you in the next lessons and we will see to how to you know make a creative photo manipulation or create a realistic shadows in our next lessons till then guys be creative and be awesome